Hi, welcome back to part two. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the sewing machine. I am using a brother, and that is the serial number right up under there, just in case you want to know what model number I'm using. And to get started, you want to use, I'm sorry, you want to get your thread. You also need a bobbin. And this is just in case you don't have any made, or you don't know how, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and be putting the thread on top of the rod. Well, the spool of thread on top of the rod on the top of the sewing machine. I'm going to slide the smallest part on there. And I want to leave the biggest part on there so that I'm able to slide the lock into there. It's like a a stopper that you put on the inside of there. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, I forgot the correct term for it. But they come with every brand new sewing machine. Now see that in there? I put that in there. You wanna push it all the way back. And this stops your thread from coming off. It's good for, um, for any size. And if you don't, if you don't have this model sewing machine, go ahead and look at your manual to figure out how to how to fix it up but for this one the thread goes through that loop back there for the bobbin part it goes under this hook and around the around the little circle thing that's right there at the top and i'm going to go ahead and take the end of the thread here's my bobbin See the hole right there? I want to put the thread through the hole. There's one on one on each flat side. Let's give you guys a little bit more clarity. Let's try that again. Put that through the hole. And you want to pull that thread through there. Don't pull it all the way through. Just pull it through just a little tiny bit. Just, just so you can grab it. Let's go ahead and we're going to lock this bobbin on here on the top so that we can start. lock you want to cut your sewing machine on you want to push on the pedal when you push on the pedal it's going to go ahead and that piece of thread that was on the top it will break it off on its own as it's spinning so we're going to go ahead and spin it some more let it let it fill all the way up So you just want to let the bobbin fill up. It's going to stop on its own once it's once it's done. And right now mine has stopped. So I'm just going to unlock it, take it off, and I'm going to cut the thread, sit my bobbin to the side. And you want to make multiple ones because during this wig, you will need at least six so that's five and there's the sixth you can get this case at walmart you can get extra bobbins at walmart you can get a thread from walmart you can get a sewing machine from walmart you can get the scissors from walmart you can get absolutely everything in these videos from walmart except for the hair and the caps now like i said you want to make sure you read the manual if you don't have this model to figure out how to thread your machine and on this machine it has numbered and has arrows on where to put the thread and where you want the thread to go the last step to this thread is you want to put it on the hook where the needle is and there's also a small hole right here that the that the thread is going to go through so let me go ahead and um work my magic on this thread like i really can't see so sometimes it's hard for me to thread it but make sure you put the thread through the needle
and I pulled it the wrong way. And all I'm pretty much doing is just, I'm just uh, unlooping it. Because I was supposed to pull it the opposite way. And I pulled it. I was supposed to pull it to the left and I pulled it to the right, basically. So that goes through the presser foot. And now we're going to move on ahead and to the bobbin. That's where this goes, the bobbin. That's the bobbin holder. You want to take your string and loop it around and over. And like I said, it gives you directions on this sewing machine to show you how to thread your needle. So we're gonna take it, loop it up under here. Oh, yeah. I had a thread, an extra thread that was on it that was unnecessary, so I just took it off. I'm gonna put it back in here. And I'm gonna loop it around and over. And at the end, there's like a small blade to cut the string. Now, these are the controls. The one on the left, well, they both change the numbers. And the number patterns are over here. So I want the number four stitch. This is what we'll be using throughout the rest of the, of the wig. This is the number four. And these are the details of number four. The top shows how far you want the stitches to be. I'm sorry, how close you want them to be. And the bottom one shows you how wide you want them to be. So when I start, I keep them on default for about the first five. And once I'm done with the first five stitches of each track, I'll switch the controls to 4.4, 4.4. And when I want to reset them, I'll just hit down and up. So it'll go to three and four for a fast reset instead of me clicking it so many times to change it. I really don't care to do that. But thank you for watching. And go ahead and go on to the next video. Thank you.